Hi, this is Jesse at Glass Crafters, and I'm here for another session of In the Details. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite things about tinned wire. Tinned wire is this lovely substance. It is on the inside copper wire, and it's been coated in tin so as to make it, you know, a little less corrosive and a little bit uh, shinier. It'll blend with things better. It's already a silver color for your projects. Now, tinned wire is available in a bunch of different gauges. You have everything from 12, which is really, really thick, uh, 16, 18, 20, all the way down to 24. This one's not open, but it's really hair thin. I'm not sure if you can see. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do with tinned wire. Um, one of the first ones is that you can make a decorative or reinforced version of it by uh, braiding it or twisting it together. Now the thing I want to do is pull some out, just a good length, and snip it. Just use your trusty old wire cutters. And then go ahead and make a U with it. And there's several ways you can do this now. The, the easiest one is to have a nail or a screw or something in the table. I've got a horseshoe nail embedded in the table right here. And you can go ahead and you could use, you know, a pair of pliers to hold it at the tip and twist and twist to get a braid. Um, you can also use, this is called the Morton Twister. Same concept, except what you do is you go ahead and take the tips here and you're going to wrap them around one of these loops several times so that they won't move. It's a little bit of effort here. But once you've got them wrapped, you can go ahead and turn it like this, and it's much quicker than a pair of pliers. You can move a lot quicker once you get going. Okay, and now by doing this, you have more than doubled the strength of your wire, because now it is braided in a loop. You can still bend it, you can still work with it, but it's much tougher. So this 16 gauge is uh, 18 gauge is now much closer to the 12 gauge, but it has a prettier appearance. Might be better for decorative purposes. So that's it for session one. I'm gonna go ahead and if you are seeing this video joined together, we'll share another purpose. Otherwise, check out the next video.